much. Joining us now to discuss two-time Olympic gold medalist and legendary U.S. women's soccer goalkeeper, Brianna Scurry. She's the author of the upcoming book, My Greatest Save, The Brave Barrier-Breaking Journey of a World Champion Goalkeeper. Thanks so much for joining us. It's exciting to have you on. So you were a member of the iconic 99 World Cup championship team that really catapulted women's soccer to new heights. Uh, earlier this year, the women's national team reached an equal pay agreement, but this deal goes even farther than that one, uh, equally splitting tournament prize money and more. Since the FIFA World Cup, uh, Women's World Cup was established in 91, the U.S. team, the women's team, has won at half the time. Emotionally, how does today's victory compare to the one that you had on the field in 99? <laughs> hey, Jake, great to be with you. Thank you so much for having me. I, I have to tell you, it's, it's right up there. You know, uh, this battle for equal pay has been going on for decades. And my 99 team and the 96 team as well before that have all been uh, parts of the foundation of, of trying to get us there. And so it's so gratifying now to have this happen today. I mean, I am overjoyed. I am so happy for the women. I'm happy for the men. And it's so amazing now because all the, all the players can um, be in the same boat and going in the same direction. There's always been confrontation and difficulty and adverse, ad, adverse, adverse conditions with the Federation uh, for both the men's and the women's unions. And now we're all in the same boat in agreement um, as opposed to uh, being against one another. So this is an amazing historic day. And uh, I have to tell you, I really appreciate what uh, Walker Zimmerman, um, how he led his men's team how Megan Rapino and uh, Alex Morgan led the women's team and how Cindy Parlo Cohn, a former teammate of mine on the 99ers, uh, led U.S. soccer to this point. The deal also attempts to erase a disparity that's beyond the control of U.S. soccer. That's the significant difference in prize money awarded for the men's and the women's World Cups, which is that's governed by FIFA. Um, that's an extraordinary move. The U.S. is the first to do it. Do you think other countries are going to follow suit? I sure hope so, Jake. I, I mean, this this is truly a watershed moment, in my opinion. And I really think that this this um, framework can definitely be something moving forward that other federations can consider because the mandate of a federation is to grow the game for, for young boys and girls, for everyone in their country. And I think because we've come together in this unique way and the men's team agreeing to do this, I think this definitely could be a, a contention of, of a new way to go about doing these agreements in other countries going forward. So the disparity, I should note, has not just been in pay. The women's team is much better than the men's team in the United States. Do you think this would have happened if that were not the case? Um. I don't think so, Jake. I think that was definitely a huge element of this deal. It always has been one of the things we've been able to fall back on and mention in the fact that we win a lot of things. We've won four Olympic gold medals. We've won four World Cups. And so the tradition of winning is there. And because of that tradition of winning, all these sponsors were getting on board because they also wanted to be associated with us. And so we were also able to really I'm sorry. We were really able to move the game forward um, because of that. And so I think now we're all on the same page and uh, that was definitely a factor. All right, Brianna Scurry, great to talk to you. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. She's the author of the upcoming book, My Greatest Save, The Brave Barrier Breaking Journey of a World Champion Goalkeeper. Thanks so much again.